How's it going, everybody? Hey, I wanted to update my video on my catch can um, because after I got thinking about it, I realized that even though I bought the check valves, I didn't think I was going to need them. Turns out I really do. So on a two-port catch can on the LSA engine, uh, these aren't necessary, the check valves. This line uh, goes to the upper uh, vacuum side of the supercharger, uh, pulling a vacuum in the can, uh, bringing in the dirty um, crankcase fumes into the can. This comes from the valley port. This is the one that should be going this direction, should always be going this direction. Um, this is ventilating the crankcase. So the vacuum here, the, the reason you don't need it on the LSA is the upper port, um, the supercharger side, I guess it's, uh, I'll have to look it up in the service manual, but uh, the upper connection in, the, in my previous video, it's always under vacuum, either under naturally aspirated vacuum or when the supercharger is in boost, the boost is on the after side of the roots. Uh, it does create a vacuum on um, the port side because it's pulling air into the roots. <clears throat> so this is always flowing in this direction. So it brings dirty crankcase fumes in, gets processed, goes out under vacuum. So this one that I had hooked up, I didn't have a check valve in it. And what I realized is that this one was creating so much vacuum that it was actually pulling um, fumes out of my valve cover area and through the clean side PCV, pulling more air through the air cleaner, um, through the valve covers and into the can, and then down here, thus robbing this of the potential suction that it needed to vacate the crankcase. So what I did was I went ahead and utilized the check valve and now it can only pull this way. So if, if the upper side, if the valve cover side has more vacuum than this side will, then, then this will be doing the work to, to ventilate the crankcase. If this side has more vacuum, then this side will do nothing. Air will not go this way. Air will only go this way. So this can only help to vacate the can. It can never bring air into it, um, robbing this of the function that it needs. So if you have a three port, um, you'll either have to put check valves in it or you can just eliminate this side, just get the two port. Um, from what I understand, it's quite adequate. But without a check valve on the three port, you'll actually be pulling oil vapor from the valve cover side into the can. Now, it's kind of good in a way, but it's really not because then you're not ventilating the crankcase, which is what we're really after here to relieve pressure in the crankcase. So anyway, I just wanted to update you guys to let you know uh, that's what's going on and why there's check valves in a three port system. Thanks, have a good day.